With your help, the ALS Association is making progress toward finding treatments and a cure through care services, advocacy, and research. Your support has enabled us to triple the amount spent on research each year, facilitate partnerships between university scientists and drug industry leaders, and fund new global collaborative research initiatives. The ALS Association's research program has been a global program funding all kinds of initiatives from very early discovery all the way through bringing it into clinical trials. But the real challenge is, is getting sufficient funds to run all the exciting programs. So here at Cedar sinai uh, we're in a unique position, I think, of having extremely powerful science combined with one of the largest medical centers in the world that has a very, very active uh, ALS clinic. And this money is being spent to take the cells from patients with ALS, re-engineer them back in time so they become embryonic. Those cells then can be made into the motor neurons that die in the patient. And we're trying to understand, using that new model, what causes ALS. The New York Genome Center is meant to be a hub of collaborative interactions. We brought together clinicians, basic scientists, geneticists, to essentially be able to sequence the genomes of ALS patients, collect information about their clinical symptoms. Understanding the variants in the genomes of an ALS patient allows us to figure out what's going wrong. What are the proteins that are wrong? What are the pathways that are wrong? And that is the key step in identifying diagnosis and treatment and ultimately cure. As soon as the Ice Bucket Challenge happened, it unified the Genome Center around the study of ALS in a way that I could not have imagined. We're now able to look at all of the different factors inside the cell. The funding that we're getting to explore those, it's brand new. We've never been able to do that before. 